I uh, wanted to give an update on uh, our efforts to uh, react to the snow and ice uh, that we're uh, getting out, out on the roads. We've been out with all uh, trucks uh, since 3 a.m. this morning applying a mixture of salt and sand. We started off with the uh, elevated roads, the, uh, the curves, the intersections, and uh, by about 6.30ish uh, we uh, got to the, uh, the main priority routes. We'll be working through all the main priority routes probably be completely done with them applying salt and sand somewhere around 4.35 uh, uh, before we think that the, we'll probably have it done before the, uh, the, the uh, commute this afternoon, this evening. Uh, we've had to be a little bit uh, uh, adaptive uh, because the weather forecast has changed. We thought we were going to get real cold temperatures and very dry snow, just a trace, something that almost just kind of blows off the road, which, so we were just monitoring, had our, had our trucks out. Um, we then, the, around 7 o'clock, the uh, forecast changed and it looked like we're going to have something more like about an inch of accumulation uh, so that we, so we went ahead and started up our uh, salt sand mix and we anticipate that the salt sand, even in the, in the following cold temperatures, should get us down to uh, pavement. We are putting a little bit of calcium chloride in with our salt sand because we look like, it looks like we are going to be getting some very low temperatures overnight and that helps us uh, be a little bit more successful against refreezing. With that, I'd like to answer your question. Also known as brine, brine stuff. Uh, the salt sand, it, salt sand is just, is just the calcium chloride. It's a different kind of salt. So you put sodium chloride, which is the salt that you and I think about, and then just a little bit of calcium chloride, which is another kind of salt, and that has even a lower freezing temperature. So it, it helps us with the really low cold temperatures overnight. So you're not putting that brine stuff? No, brine, uh, we would normally we'd put brine ahead of the, the storm, but uh, the earlier forecasts called for very low temperatures and very small amounts of snow, and uh, brine really wouldn't be effective. It would actually make things worse. It would melt a little bit of snow that was on the road and allow it to freeze. So we didn't apply very much other, other than elevated roads, uh, bridges and that sort of thing. Uh, what we did was just have the trucks ready to react to the snowfall when it came. And we've stepped up our uh, amount of sand salt uh, mix being applied uh, with the, uh, the change in forecast showing it was going to go from a trace to up to an inch. And that's why you see us out there right now. With that expected inch of snow, do you guys have to worry about running plows at all? Generally, you don't plow with that small amount of, of, uh, of snow. You won't plow. Usually it's more like two inches. It really depends a lot on the weather and some other factors, too. But in this, these sorts of conditions, it's much more effective to just lay down the salt and the sand, and that'll pretty much get you down to uh, bare pavement. And we can do that in about a third of the time it takes us to plow through the streets. And so we want to make sure we get through the entire uh, 1,500 lane miles of priority routes uh, and try to get that done before the evening commute. How are salt and sand supplies for the city right now? Uh, sand is, we have all the sand we need. It comes out of sand pits, as you know. Salt, we're about 90% of our uh, uh, capacity. So we've been restocking since the last uh, um, use of salt here, just uh, last week. So we're doing pretty well on the, uh, on the salt supplies. What kind of internet traffic, traffic have you seen with the website that you guys provided, uh, tracking all the plows, tracking the, uh, all the different uh, equipment that's out on the I don't have the number of hits, but anecdotally I know that I've been getting a lot of comments, phone calls, uh, email, uh, people asking questions and commenting and saying that they like, uh, uh, like the new feature. Uh, it's up today so you can look at it. You'll notice that one truck is way up in Newton. We have only 49 trucks uh, running and the reason for that, that, that truck broke down and so it's up getting fixed up at the, uh, up at the dealer. So I mean, you can really tell what's going on truck by truck, you know. Honestly, with the GPS on these vehicles, I mean, you can really monitor how the city is doing. Yes, sir, exactly. And if you look at the, uh, the city now, you'll see that east is pretty much getting finished up and that probably north and west is, is a, a still needs some work, and that's where the trucks are out there heading next. And so you get kind of a sense on where they've been and where they're going. And so we're getting uh, pretty close to uh, our first pass, and we certainly will be through the first pass, including turn lanes, uh, by the evening commute. 